Welcome to the next lecture on types of social innovation. Social innovation plays a crucial role in addressing societal challenges. It helps in driving, driving positive change to the society. Understanding different types of social innovation is essential for developing effective solutions and strategies. There are several types of social innovation. In this lecture, we will try to see all these innovations. To name them, we will start in a circular manner. So, social, socio-cultural innovation, socio-political innovation, socio-ideological innovation, socio-ethical innovation, socio-economic innovation, socio-organizational innovation, socio-technical innovation, socio-ecological innovation, socio-analytical innovation and socio-juridicial innovation. These are different types of innovations which are part of social innovation. Many a times you will not have exclusively one, there will be a blend of many. For example, you will have socio-cultural innovation attached with socio-ethical innovation attached with socio-juridicial innovation. These three can be together to develop a solution. Same way political scenario can be political scenario, ethical scenario, organization scenario and analytical innovation can be part of one. They are, they are clearly distinct, but they will have a combination together to come to an innovative solution. So, what is socio-juridicial innovation? Socio-juridicial innovation, the social innovation that involve legal and policy change legal and policy change. Legal is uh, uh, until the age of 17 you cannot enter the college or until you finish 10 plus 2 you cannot enter college uh, or 18 years and above are eligible for getting a driving license. So, social innovation that involves legal, legal is this and policy change, policy changes say for example, there is uh, anybody who has cleared 10th uh, uh, standard, they are eligible for getting a driving license. So, now the initial thing was 8th standard, now they have changed it to 10th standard, why? Because they wanted to have a, uh, have a IQ level improvement, maturity level improvement, em emotional quotient better. So, they said okay, there is a policy change, henceforth people who are above 18 are eligible to get the driving license. So, policy change was earlier 15 or 8th standard pass, now it has become 18 years old. The other policy change is India decides to conduct all the entrance examination through online portal or online exams, a policy change. From an offline it became online. People all thought that how will people who, who are coming from a very, very rural background will be able to use a computer, they would have not even seen a computer. But 5, 6 years down the line, they have improved and today all the national competitive exams happens online, a policy change. It is eco-friendly, it is sustainable and it, it has the advantage of traceability and adaptability. So, a policy change, offline exam becoming online. Okay. To drive social progress and address societal changes, majority of the time this policy change of going for online exam came into existence because the, the, the dependency on paper is reduced. So, once the paper dependency is reduced, the errors are reduced, the paper dependency is reduced, deforestation is reduced. 
So, once by making a policy because of deforestation, so you are you are able to have a climatic control, you are able to get clean unpolluted air. So, all these things soil erosion is is uh, uh, is avoided. So, you see all these things are an impact just by one thing on converting an online offline exam to an online you get so much of benefit to drive social progress and address societal ch challenges. Societal challenges are for example, there are there are a community of people who solely depend on honey high or they solely depend on extraction of, of a rare nectar from trees for medicinal aspect. So, moment these trees go away, the societal challenge is they are livelihood is questioned. See societal change is something very, very important or societal challenge is something very, very important. So, to drive social progress and address societal challenges. These innovation focus on transforming legal and regulatory framework. Regulatory framework is very important. Moment you have a framework, then following the framework, the policies can be derived. The regulations can be made. A framework is making who is responsible for what and how is he going to execute. If there is a mismatch, what is to be done? How do we handle such situations? A complete framework is given to promote equality, justice and social well-being. Social well-being means it is trying to be inclusive, trying to accept people inclusive. So, these are aimed at creating or modifying laws, regulations and policies. So, policy change I have just given you offline to online. Banking, physical currency to digital currency. It is, it is a sustainable solution. The energy uh, for producing or for printing currencies have reduced. The authenticity of the currencies uh, which, which always is a problem. So, now that is reduced and you have everything digital. It everything gets into a digital wallet, easy to move, easy to commute, easy and it has lot of protection. So, physical currency to digital currency is a policy change, major policy change. Many people did not accept it so easily. Now, slowly, slowly, slowly including me, I have started enjoying digital currency, paying through, uh, through digital money is becoming more and more easy for me. So, this is a policy change. Okay? So, when the policy is changed, it has to uh, aim in creating and modifying laws. So, regulations and policies to address social issues and to protect the rights of individual and community without sacrificing the rights of individual and community trying to come up with an innovative solution to meet out uh, a requirement of fulfilling unmet needs of society is nothing but social innovation. So, social socio juridical innovation. The next one is going to be socio cultural innovation. Social innovation that focuses on transforming cultural norms, values, beliefs, practices to bring about positive societal change or positive social change. So, this is very important practices of bringing about positive social change. So, gender inequality getting reduced. Today, there are games which, uh, which was earlier thought about only men, only women. Now, they are talking about mixed, uh, mixed doubles, mixed women and gents. It was initially thought of in tennis. Now, they are thinking in other games also. Uh, positive social change, accepting girl students coming to college, making literacy 
common to both men and women. It says a positive change, bringing education, delivering education at an economical price at their doorsteps is digital education. That is a social cultural innovation. This innovation aims to challenge existing social norms. The bad practices in the society will be removed and good practices will be imbibed by doing some innovative changes. So, challenge existing so social norms, promote inclusivity, diversity. Inclusive means accept everybody, have a society where it is diversified then cultural understanding is very, very important. Trying to respect each other's culture is language, culture is very important. Then empowering individuals, communities to create a social, cohesive and equitable society. For example, diversity and inclusion campaign programs and initiatives that aim to promote to promote diversity challenge stereotypes and and foster inclusive practices within communities and organization. As an example, diversity and inclusion campaigns, programs and initiatives that aim to promote diversity. That is what I said, diversity, inclusiveness, diversity and cultural understanding is very, very important. Next is socio-political innovation. By the way, uh, the uh, electoral machine is also a socio-political innovation. Okay. Socio-innovation that focus on transforming political system, structure, process to address to societal social changes, sorry, processes to address social challenges, promote democratic values, participation and social justice, which is part of socio-political innovation. These innovation contribute to a more inclusive and equitable society by enabling broader participation and influencing political decision making. If we take an example, uh, the electoral reforms initiative aimed at improving, improving the electoral system such as introducing campaign financial reforms implementing implementing fair voting 
methods or increasing transparency and accountability in the election process. Okay. So, this is a socio-political innovation trying to bring in electoral reforms by initiating uh, the online or electoral machine. So, the advantage is the paper consumption is reduced, the transparency is increased, the traceability is increased, uh, the election results are announced much faster and there is not much of tampering which could happen on the machine. So, that is uh, a socio-political innovation. So, here it is uh, electro electronic voting machines EVMs. Next is ideological innovation, social innovation that focus on challenging and transforming existing ideologies, beliefs, values and norms, transforming existing ideologies belief, value and norms to address social issues and create positive social change. These socio-ideological innovations contribute to transform social structures and promote social ju justice by promoting critical thinking, challenging prejudice, advocating for alternative ideologies. So, if you see an example, cultural reappropriation, re appropriation efforts to reclaim and redefine define cultural symbol practices and tradition to challenge to challenge stereotypes promote cultural diversity and combat cultural appropriation. So, cultural reappropriation is part of socio-ideological innovation. Here the efforts are to efforts to reclaim and redefine cultural symbols, practices and traditions to challenge stereotypes promote cultural diversity and combat cultural appropriation. Next is socio-economical innovations. The socio-economic innovation seek to redefine economic systems and practices to prioritize social well-being. It reduces inequalities, it promotes sustainable development. These innovations offer alternative models that can be created more inclusion and equitable societies by integrating social and economic goals. So, example here are microfinance. Okay. Microfinance you can read. So, the assignment for this lecture will be study something on micro microfinance. So, microfinance services 
is nothing but a socio-economic innovation. Self-help groups are all working on microfinances. So please read it as part of the assignment so that you will appreciate socio-economic innovation. Next is organizational innovation. It refers to changes and advancements in the way societies and organizations operate, interact and address social and environmental challenges. These innovations can occur at various levels from local community to global institution. You make an organizational change. You try to reduce the number of levels, administrative levels which are involved in running an institute. So, organizational change. These innovations contribute to a more equitable and resilient future. So, here the example is flexible work arrangement. So, here what do we do? We allow remote login or working or work from from home ok. So, that is socio organizational involvement. So, the working hours are flexible and then you have you can do job sharing ok. So, then you um, try to have a balancing of load. So, all these things are socio organizational innovation. Next one is socio technical innovation. It refers to the development and implementation of new technologies in a way that considers and incorporates social factors. The socio technical innovation aim to address social needs, improve productivity and enhance well being. These innovations aim to create more inclusive user centered and sustainable solutions. So, example for this is telemedicine and remote health care. Telemedicine leverages digital communication uh, and technologies to provide basic medic medical consultation. So, here in telemedicine it is consulting, it is also used for diagnosing and it is also used for treatment. So, in this socio technical innovation it promotes telemedicine and remote health care. So, you see there socio technical innovation aims to address social needs, improve productivity, enhance well being. Socio ecological innovation. So, basically the example is going to be circular economy. practices ok. So, this is part of social economical innovation. Social ecological innovation are focused on developing and implementing solutions that address both social and ecological challenge. Socio ecological innovation aim to promote sustainability, preserve biodiversity and enhance the resilience of socio-ecological systems. The circular economy practices is part of socio-ecological innovation. So, here the circular innovation aims to minimize waste and resource. resource consumption by promoting 
promoting practices such as recycle, upcycling and product slash process service service sharing. Okay. That is what is socio ecological innovation. So, the example is circular economy where it promotes for recycle, upcycle uh, and product process services sharing. The next one is socio analytical innovation. So, here the socio analytical innovation refers to the development and application of analytical tools, techniques to understand and address complex social issues. Okay. So, what is the example here? Example here is social network analysis is nothing but SNA which examines the relationship and interaction interaction amongst individual organization or community it helps to identify key key actors key factors information flow and social structure, structures providing, providing insight into several issues. Okay. So, this is social network analysis which is part of socio analytical innovation. So, here if you see social analytical innovation it is it is a very very important tool. So, which tries to uh, uh, leverage data social uh, advanced analytics and social science methodologies. So, it is used uh, in this socio analytical innovations uh, to summary the socio innovation drives positive change in society across various domains. The collaboration, inclusivity and diversity of perspectives are crucial for successful social innovation. Technology can be a powerful tool when designed with social consideration and ethical principles and sustainability and environmental stewardships are integral to creating a better future. I have already given the assignment in this chapter is try to understand what is microfinance and how does this model sustain, how is it upscaled how does it uh, work. So, please understand and the government today is promoting lot of microfinance groups. So, these microfinance groups are to be sustained, are to be upscaled, are to be uh, how, how is it working. So, this is a good learning. If you try to do a proper learning and try to make a three page write up about this, so then you will try to appreciate social innovation. Thank you very much. Thank you.